Hello and what's up YouTube? It is a rainy Sunday morning today and I cannot do anything outside. So I thought of testing my homemade powder coating setup to see how well it overcome the dreaded Faraday cage effect. We will now look at all the components of my homemade powder coating setup. I made this air regulator assembly which we will get back for a closer look in a minute. I also have this adjustable DC power supply which I made from an old computer UPS. And of course the star of the show, my homemade powder coating gun. The powder is supplied to the gun through this ordinary gas hose connected to my GEMA powder injector. The powder pump is supplied with the necessary compressed air from the regulators and the main air supply comes from our little air compressor. These are the air regulators that I simply mounted on a piece of wood. I connected these 12 volt solenoid valves on each of the output and wired it through this regular DC jack. Incoming air branched out through a T-fitting. I also have a small ball valve attached to one of the regulators. I can turn off one of the regulator in case I am using the hopper that need only one regulated air supply. The gauges are handy to take note of the air pressure adjustments. The 12 volts supply to those solenoid valves plug into the back of my DC power supply. And the 12 volts output is controlled by a relay activated by the switch on the gun trigger. Now let's take a look at the DC adjustable voltage power supply. I recently changed to this connector plug from previously being the USB connector. I got this connector from a discarded speaker phone microphone. I connected the jack terminals to the front of my powder supply for convenience. And that takes the place of the air connectors I previously had at the front of my power supply. I also added this LED power on indicator. When I push the trigger switch on the gun, the LED lights up. At the same time, 12 volts is supplied to the solenoid valves turning on the air supply to the powder pump. That action also activates a relay that turns on the power to the high voltage generator on the gun. For this test, I will be trying out these two different spray nozzle cone sizes. Now let's take a look at my homemade powder hopper with the GEMA powder pump. It sits on top of a vibrating pad which is just a 12 volts PC fan with unbalanced blades. When I turn on the fan, it vibrates and the vibration agitates the powder so it always settles to the bottom. The vibration fluidizes the powder so that the pump pickup tube always has some powder to suck in. It can be hard to see the vibration in camera so I placed these paper clips and you can clearly see the vibration. You can see that high voltage is present at the tip of the gun whenever I press the trigger switch. And the gun itself has an LED power on indicator right there. This is our guinea pig for today. It is an aluminum housing for LED lights. You can see all these fins are about one inch deep. Those deep grooves and inner corners will be a good challenge to see how well my homemade gun overcomes the Faraday cage effect.
I set the supply input to the high voltage generator at 5 volts for relatively low KV. During the first pass, the inner corners are not coated with powder. I tried a technique I heard somewhere that uses wide nozzle tip. They say not to spray directly to the spot and kind of spray at an angle, but that does not work for me. So I tried changing to this smallest nozzle cone tip I had for a narrow powder cloud pattern and a more focused stream of powder. And just like that, the difference is night and day. The powder was able to penetrate deep into the inner corners with ease. Normally, I have this flashlight attached to the gun, but I recently removed it to charge the battery. I closely look at the workpiece with my flashlight to check for complete coverage. I have to come back once more for those uh, last few spots but nevertheless I am very satisfied with the results. You can see from my powder coating videos the details on how I make all of the components of my homemade powder coating setup you just saw in this uh, video. I put them in one playlist so it is easy to locate. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That's it for this short demonstration guys. Thank you for watching and God bless you.